Hello. Have you ever had a conversation with a person who seemed to hang on every word you said as though you were the most important person on the planet? It feels good, doesn't it? That kind of focused attention makes us feel respected and loved even. Now, when was the last time you had a conversation and said something that showed you really weren't listening at all? Really listening is a simple thing to do, really. But how often are we listening to someone and thinking up what we want to say next? Or planning dinner, waiting them, waiting for them to finish so we can speak, looking at our devices, or over their heads at someone we really want to talk to. We don't even think of this as unconscious or disrespectful, but it really is. To truly listen to someone and really hear what they have to say can be quite surprising, actually. We often have it in our heads that people think one thing and they say quite something else if we give them the time and listen to them. We actually miss their brilliance because we're too busy thinking about what it is that we want to say or how we already know what they're going to say. If we make the effort to actually listen to people and what they're saying, we give them the gift of attention and we give ourselves the gift of being fully present. Active listening is a technique to build real understanding, rapport, and trust with the speaker. It's also about showing that you actually give a damn about this person and what they're saying. It's important here that you're really paying attention. Put down the devices, turn off the TV, be ready to just listen without judgment or self-talk. Look the person in the eye and let them know you're there for them. Allow silence to happen. People need time to formulate thoughts. Just jumping in with our own perspective keeps them from expressing theirs. When they're done speaking, reflect back to them using emotions. This seems important to you because, or I'm sensing you're frustrated, worried, excited. If you're not sure of every point, give them a summary of what you think you heard and ask if that's correct. It sounds like you said, if your mind wanders off to something else or starts formulating answers, bring yourself back to the present without judgment. Take a breath, recenter. Over time, you can build this muscle too, and it becomes first nature to be present. Feel free to ask questions to clarify, but be respectful and give them time to answer. Be kind and be curious. This can be an amazing tool in the workplace or at home with family. Children especially seem to actually glow when given the focused attention of their adults. Give it a try and let me know what you experienced. Thank you.